Now, some words about ufology, since we are talking here about ufology World Congress taking place in Montserrat, Spain, 19 to the 21st, 2017. Ufology is a science which is accepted today over the world in most countries, except a few uninvolved ones who delay in the understanding of ufology. Ufology is for a long time, still today, I've been searching for the proof first to investigate and make the obvious conclusion that UFOs were in fact of extraterrestrial origin. Good point, well made. That's it. Now, many ufologists, not those who are speaking at this Congress, because they're all researchers, journalists, making documentaries for Discovery, History Channel, whatever, and they are much open to the spiritual aspect or contact with benevolent beings. But as a general rule, ufologists searching for the proof of extraterrestrial life where well, they cross over many, many documents and proofs because of the cover-up, principally, and they came out with many stories, many proofs, many documents about what we call the aliens. That is, these which are being popularized in TV, movies and the like. You find them all over the place, advertising everywhere. All these little greys with big eyes like that, like this, no lips, uh, very strange looking. Those are not benevolent beings. They are not of the light. They are not benevolent. They are not interesting. They are a kind of biological robots, clone, fabricated by the reptilians, known as the Archons. Again, watch David Icke on YouTube about the Archons and other people. So the tendency in ufology is often to show the faces of the little greys. Zeti reticulum, whatever. Yes, yeah, sure, they exist, but they are not the majority of beings from other worlds here. So I want to put the difference between the two. So let's call them by the true name. Aliens, they are aliens, like in the movies, like in all this propaganda today to make us accept that little grey reptilians were our creators and everything. No, 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 no. These are aliens. That's it. That's it. The true world, word for benevolent beings coming from other planets is space warriors, but it could be also said extraterrestrial extraterrestrial versus aliens. No thanks to Mr. Spielberg, he had these two were mixed. Whatever on purpose or not, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, there was the movie called The Extraterrestrial. Oh, what a wonder. We watched it in the 80s, I watched the, when it came out, right there, the week it came out, it was in Glendale, Arizona, and we watched E.T. movie. At the end, when the ship departs, Spielberg put a big rainbow across the brink screen in the theater. So everybody there, see, 
Wow! That's the symbol of the new age. Steven Spielberg is one of us. Well, yeah, at the time in the 80s, everybody was putting stickers of Rambo on the car on the windows of the house. It was the symbol of the new age. So why Steven Spielberg put that symbol of the new age on movies he has produced and show most of the time, if not all the times? Aliens! Aliens! Not Nordic space browsers! No, 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 no! Aliens! And kind of the third kind? At the end, these are the Zeti reticulum guys. Whatever they are, the little greys, or what is called the big whites, they're the same! These are those who are making deals for a long time with military secret space program, which Laura Eisenhower, Curry Good, Michael Sala and others reveals a lot today. So, why is that that ufologists all over the world in UFO congresses are still showing the little greys are the main alien visiting us? What's that? I don't have the answer. I just say this is not proper. And I will mention here the information given to us in another UFO Congress in Gütersloh, Germany, uh, by uh, the main contactee from Sweden, a colleague speaker of mine called Stin Lindgren. And Stin Lindgren have been contacted by the Space Forces the same as George Zemsky, I've seen the same ships landing, contact, contacting him in Sweden, the same happened in Norway, next door, and he said in Congresses, remember that the little greys, the Zeti Reticulum, all these things which are not even beings, are only four percent of the beings from space visiting planet Earth. Only four percent. And we see them all the time in movies and documentaries. It's only them, them and them. Might be a reason to that. The response will probably be revealed in that famous UFO disclosure on which I will talk in another segment. So please forget the greys that we see all over the place, even in the Congress here. There are pictures of greys, reptilians, statues, artifacts, archaeological artifacts, even the mummy, which is showing the greys. But again, they are not interesting. They are not here for our good. They are not involved with the transition of this planet and the people who are ready into the fifth dimension. So, I suggest just to stay away from these guys. Forget the aliens. Forget all the movies about the aliens. Try to find movies when we talk about space brothers. When they watch, they are not shown much, like a Star Trek series, where we had beings, races, pretty much looking like space borders. So we stay with the space borders as far as I'm concerned.